Hello everyone. Happy Friday. I'm very excited it's Friday. I know a lot of other people are too. I wanted to talk to you today to find out if you're throwing spaghetti at the wall hoping something sticks. And what I mean by that is do you have some health challenge? An illness, a disease, something that's bothering you, pain, loss of function, you name it. And it seems like you're spending all kinds of time and energy and money going to different doctors, different healers, doing things at home, maybe medications, whatever the case might be, but you feel like you're putting all of this time and energy and effort into this particular like disease or illness or injury and you're not getting any change or you don't know if anything that you're doing is leading maybe to some change that you're experiencing or well but what you do know is that if there is some relief it's short term it doesn't seem to be improving further and you're finding yourself really angry and frustrated and maybe kind of at wit's end because you don't know what to do next. I ask this question because I see a lot of people do this. Heck, I did this. A few years ago, I had a knee injury and it was really getting in the way of my practice. It was getting in the way of well, moving at home, I have a two-story home, so going up and down the stairs was an issue. It was getting in the way, certainly, of one of the things that I love, which is hiking. I found myself scared because I wondered if I was going to become one of those people who the only way they could experience nature is if they could drive to it. And that thought horrified me. I love being in nature. So what did I do? I'm a doctor, I'm a chiropractor. I threw everything in the kitchen sink at it. I got adjusted. I did stretches, I did exercises. I worked with a number of different healers doing a number of different modalities. I would use ice and elevation and um, essential oils. I mean, you name it, I was probably doing it or had tried it. And if I got some relief, it was short term. It just, yeah, I just really wasn't happy, and that's why I was so scared. The good news is I don't have those knee issues anymore. And what I learned through the process is it's not good to throw everything in the kitchen sink at it. Our body, it doesn't work that way. That's our, I found it to be my sense of, feeling like I had to do something to just get it to stop, to get the pain to stop, the discomfort to stop, the swelling, and to be able to get back to what I wanted to be doing with my body. And in trying to get things to change, to try to, I would say, force a change, I, yeah, I was just doing, 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 doing. And it just didn't work. So what I discovered was Focused, intentional, purposeful actions is what really made a difference. And for me, that meant checking in with my intuition. It meant asking my body questions to determine what things or what thing that I either started doing or stopped doing would make a difference. And it was through asking questions of my body and getting answers and then following through on those answers that I started to experience change and started to notice improvement and found myself back in the woods hiking again where I find so much joy and happiness. So if you have a health concern or even a life concern, a life challenge, a health challenge, and you're finding that you're not getting results or you feel like you're putting all of this time and effort and energy into making some change, I would love to hear from you. 
I would love to yeah, understand the steps that you're taking and see how I can help you. I, since discovering this for myself a few years back, I have consistently helped others to be able to determine a course of action that helps them listen to their body, ask questions of their body, and come up with a plan for making changes in their health, in their life. As always, I would love to hear your comments, love to hear your questions. And of course, if you want to speak to me directly, you can private message me or you can go to my website and schedule a time to talk to me directly. Again, I'd love to hear from you. Comments, any suggestions or thoughts? All right, it's good connecting with you today. I look forward to connecting with you in the future. Sending health and happiness to you in 2018.